course, as soon as you start thinking about the future of education, you have to start thinking about what sort of world do you want children to go into. And if you start thinking about what sort of world you want children to go into, you want to think, is this the same as what we've got or is it different? And how do you lead a different structure? Now, over the last, what is it, what it is, 20, 50 years, we've treated children as if every one of them is the same. You know, they just go through the same process. And it's rather like a, a farmer listening to his accountant saying, OK, if you've got the maximum number of eggs, put your chickens in little wire cages that size, by like that. Put a conveyor belt in front of them, bring them a continuous supply of water and, and food, and they'll just cluck away, particularly, you know, if you play them soft music and you have the lights turned down, the chickens feel very comfortable, and the eggs just roll out. And the farmer says, that's wonderful, you're producing the very best goods. It's just like a school, you know, you've all passed the exams. But, of course, if those chickens can't even stand on their own legs, or can't even flap their wings, however you want to demonstrate flapping your wings, those muscles never grow. And if the shape of those wire cages is wrong, then those chickens can't even stand on their own feet. They're a perfect morsel for a predatory fox to come along and gobble up. Now contrast that with the natural state of a chicken, which is free range. It doesn't lay as many eggs, but it develops pretty strong leg muscles and wing muscles. And if anybody comes close to it, it doesn't like, the cockerel will just dive at you with its beak, go straight for your ankle, and you will scream. And by the time you've recovered from your scream and you lunge to capture this damn thing, it's flown up to the beam above your head and it's crowing away to its heart content. Now what the natural child is all about is the child that has got the flexibility and adaptability to fly out of the present constraint. But if we educate it so that it just fits in too well into the present situation, then in fact it could be as dead as a dodo. And so the issue that I think about adolescence is that adolescence is really when the child should be learning to have a load more flexibility than just fitting into the present system.